Well guys, I'm in the barn this morning because we got to move the 4166 out of the way to get to a little self-propelled New Holland Baylor back in the corner. And the reason we're doing that is because this New Holland self-propelled Baylor is supposed to jump on a trailer Tuesday morning, I think, to go to California. I sold it last August, September. Kind of waiting on a guy to send a truck forever and ever. It was kind of he was kind of hem hawing around. He finally has got a truck coming to come get it. So this thing's going to get the hell out of here. Um, really cool. Came off an auction near Kearney, Nebraska. Pretty much, from what I can tell, this thing's pretty much been in a shed its whole life when it wasn't in use. So uh, I'm going to throw my jump pack on the old 4166 and fire it up. And then we'll jump this and get it out of the barn. And I got. It. I don't really want to drive it into town because I hate to break it. I hate to do anything funny to it. So I'm going to drive it on my trailer out there and uh, we'll unload it in town. And then maybe once we're in town, we can talk about it some more. Okay, jump pack's doing its thing here on the 4166. So, partial throttle switch. And I think it's that button on it. Batteries hooked up and per normal. Somebody else has done worked on this before and it's got double red wires, but yeah, it's hooked up. So we're gonna call up in the seat here and see if we can get it fired up. Forgot it didn't have battery on it, so I robbed a battery off something else that is a good battery. So uh yeah. I think that's the choke throttle. Which one of these buttons is go? Hmm. We'll crawl down here and look again. Ugh. See if we got fuel in the bowl. No fuel in the bowl yet. So that is not not ideal. I don't remember if this thing had an electric fuel pump on it. I thought it was just a mechanical pump, but uh, nothing in that bowl yet. So, hmm. Tank is where. I can't remember. I'm gonna do some more digging. Well, that turned into a mild struggle and I had to bleed, take my air compressor and blow fuel into the fuel tank and pressurize the fuel tank to bleed air back over to the fuel pump on the motor so I could uh, get fuel over to the sediment bowl here and uh, get this thing running. That sediment bowl is ripping a little. I don't care. It's leaving in a little bit. But uh, we're gonna, I aired up the one tire on the front of this, it was flat. So now we're gonna drive it out, I guess. Could be, you gotta come out and make a left hand turn and go that way and try not to hit my tractors over here. Fun. This thing's a little bit interesting to drive, but it's not too bad really. Just a clutch. I just have to remember, okay, it's got gears right here on it, so that is first make sure we got steering which i do not gonna get in a hurry here hard left hard left oh that's all i got okay stop i think i have turning brakes but i've never used them before Okay, going back into the snowmobile that's behind me. Back in first gear. Hard left, miss the pillar. Yeah, I, I, I think we're good now. Woo! We're out of here. And the wind 
is blowing today, so if you're going to complain about wind noise, just politely piss off, because I live in western Kansas and the wind blows. If you got nothing better to do than complain about wind, find somebody else to watch. I got a, enough pickups out today and tractors out too. Uh, I'm going to try to get everything put away. It's supposed to rain and thunderstorm tonight and then snow tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that's fun weather. Gotta love Kansas. We're gonna drive this thing around and up on the deck. This is where things get a little fun because I gotta add an extra ramp there. And uh, it kinda, it's the same width as the trailer basically, the bottom. You gotta basically come right up that edge there. And then if I'm lucky, I sneak this tire here just inside the fender here and drive it on but you can't actually see that tire from the seat so meh but i'm gonna set you guys up over here and uh you can watch Okay, we're safely down off the trailer now, so we can walk around this thing a little better outside. Show her off. It's a 1282 New Holland a Hay Cruiser self propelled Baylor. Um, has a four cylinder, 170 cubic inch um, Ford motor. Um, it's a wire tie Baylor. You can get these in wire or twine tie. Uh, hydraulic um, squeeze on the back, or hydraulic chamber is the word. I'm not good at bailers. Um, pretty nice baler. I don't think it sat outside much in its life. Back tires are very good tread. Front tires are meh, but whatever. These are quite an interesting machine. This is actually the fifth one of these I've had. Um, I stumbled onto four of them down in southern Kansas, right on the Oklahoma state line, and uh, shipped one to Wisconsin, two to New York or Pennsylvania to a New Holland dealer back there and one to uh, Marion, Kansas is where the last one went. This is the last one I've got. It's hydraulic lift for the pickup. Um, you know, it's just a baler that drives itself. So nothing too wild. Um, most of the components I believe for drive are based off of silage cutters or swathers um, from my understanding. 
but uh, it drips some fuel there out of seven volt, what the hell. Uh, but it's a pretty cool running, good running little thing. We're gonna call up on here and kick it in gear, um, just for funsies. Looks like the last thing it did was some grass, some hand, sand hills, hay would be my guess. Um, I should probably clean that out, but I also don't care because it's not my baler anymore. I'm gonna throttle, but it's got gauges here, temp, fuel, looks like it's charging, and it's got good oil pressure. That's bail chamber pressure. Um, one of these is pick up, up, down, and one's a variable speed. Just like my little Massey combine or what, what have you. Or this is how you engage the uh, baler right there. for this one guys um been kind of breaking out a lot of content here just been busy which is good we're getting to my prime time of year uh so things are moving a lot more and i get busy which whatever busy is good busy means business is happening so this is going to california tuesday i'm gonna go i don't know work in my house or clean up around the house at sunday help my wife out do some odd jobs around there and uh, so you guys have a good one pull this out of my barn today kind of a barn find deal from the auctioneer I talked to when I got it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, I'm always looking for tractors or cool tractors and stuff to dig out of barns and stuff. So if you got something in, you know, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, let me know. But uh, you guys go drag something out of the weeds and get it running.